How do I strengthen my imagination? Hello and welcome, my name is Gareth Fleck and in today's video we're going to do an easy exercise to help you strengthen your imagination. Let's get into it. Tennis ball, close your eyes. Imagine you have a tennis ball in your hand. In your imaginary hand, you're passing it over to your left hand. You're holding it now in your left hand. You can feel the fuzz. You can feel the little rubber strips on the tennis ball. Put it back into your right hand. Or roll it between your hands. You have a tennis ball between your hands. You can see that it is green and it's covered in fuzz. And you can smell it. Okay, now if I say bounce the tennis ball in your imagination, you know what it sounds like when you bounce the tennis ball, right? You can hear it hit the ground in your mind and feel it hit your hand again. Okay, you can juggle it over, throw it to this hand, catch it. Catch it. Rub it on your face. Can you feel? You know what it feels like. So you can bring that back up. So it's good to practice of small things. Imagine you have a pen. You click it. You can feel the plastic on your finger and as you push it in, it makes that wee click noise, doesn't it? You push the button, it clicks out. What color is the pen? My one's orange with a clear tube that goes down for where the pen comes out, push it out. Okay, now you're holding your pen. You got a bit of paper in front of you. You just put I, the letter I, you can feel the little ball on the paper as you move it. And then love. Draw we love heart. I love. Now you can see the paper and it has I love written on it. And you can feel the paper, can't you? Okay. So if we were to hold a bowling ball in your hands, you can imagine. It's got the three holes that you put your fingers in, okay? You can feel them clasped around your fingers. You can feel the weight of the ball. There's lots of things you can do. Just start with little things that you know what they feel like and then build it up. Like holding a bottle of water and you take the lid off. What would you do? You would hear the click, wouldn't you? You could feel it unraveling off the spiral. Take it off and you would take a sip. Can you imagine what it would feel like to have the water going in your mouth and as you swallow it? The way our brain is laid out, top right side, okay, this is if we go off normal. Okay, where people can be wired backwards, back to front. If I ask you to remember the color of your first bedroom, your awareness would go to the top left of your brain. This is visual recall, visual memory. If I say create an elephant that is pink with the wings, your awareness would come to the top right hand side of your brain. This is visual construct. This is where we create. Left, top left is memory, top right is creation. So, what I like to do is see a big bubble if I'm creating something from scratch. You know, you can see it. Or if I need to bring back, bring in something, if I'm remembering a dairy, you know, I was at the dairy today, so I'll remember back my top left up in this area here. 
and then I would bring over that memory into the creation. So now the dairy is there, and now I'm creating. I've won something. Woo! And then you can also bring that creation back into your memory. So then it becomes like it's a memory, the left top left hand side of the brain. So we'll try this again. We're going to bring our awareness to the top right hand side of our brain. You have a tennis ball. And you can see a wall in front of you that has a target bullseye on it. So you can imagine what that would be. See, you can vaguely see it, right? And then I want you to imagine that you're just throwing the tennis ball, hits the wall, and it bounces back and rolls to you. And you pick it back up. Okay. That's how we can create using the right top right hand side of our brain. We can use our top left hand side, which is the visual recall memory. So we can remember a place, get it in our memory, and then create and then bring it together. But test that just with day household things like touch your jacket and close your eyes. And imagine yourself touching your jacket or your shirt again. And the more we do these little things, the more it builds it up. And we get better at it, better and better and better and better. And then we become master manifestors. Hope that was helpful. My name is Gareth Fleck. Subscribe if you feel like it. Leave a comment. Love you. And I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy your life.